It's halfway through day one and the kitchen criminals now face their next challenge. Spinach and ricotta tortelli and Angela is hoping that their version will look something like hers. First, she makes the filling. This is just spinach, parmesan and ricotta. There's nothing difficult here. The spinach is wilted in a pan with a little hot water. OK, add a little bit of salt at this stage. OK. And you can see the steam coming out already and it's starting to reduce down. Just keep stirring it until it does. Right, Harj, come round here. Do a little work. Angela asks okay. Harj, the doctor, to help with the next ingredient for the filling, fresh parmesan. It's great, the cheese, like so. The filling for this dish has two cheeses, parmesan and ricotta. This is a by-product of when they make milk in Italy and they make the hard cheeses like the parmesan. It's the way from it. It's like a cottage cheese. It's a soft cheese. That's fine, harsh. Then Angela adds the ricotta cheese to the grated like fresh parmesan and grates in grated. nutmeg. A little bit of nutmeg through there. Not too much, because you don't want it overpowering. OK, and as soon as your spinach has cooled down, we're going to mix it together. Once the spinach has wilted, it's drained and chopped finely. All the ingredients for the filling are then mixed together, adding breadcrumbs for texture. The filling done, Angela prepares the pasta, creating pasta thicker than the tagliatelle, so it's strong enough to hold the filling. Before you fill them, just check yourself, yeah? Fold it over and fold it. Take your filling. You put a nice spoon, not too big. Remember, this is like a mouthful of pasta. I want nice, even separation, and I want them all the same size. Next, she makes the tortelli shapes. Then you cup it round, either side of the tortelli. OK, what am I doing when I cup it round there, Linda? Sealing it. Sealing, Sealing it, but what am I removing? Air. Air. Air, there you go. The air will expand and then it will break your tortelli and you don't want that. The tortelli is then cut into squares and cooked in boiling water. After 30 seconds, the pasta rises. They come to the surface now, count to 20 and then they're done. Finally, Angela serves the pasta topped with olive oil, pepper and grated parmesan. Let's go, guys, yeah? This is what Angela is hoping the kitchen criminals will recreate. All ten kitchen criminals are now cooking for survival and some are feeling the stress. I feel really under a lot of pressure and just want to try and make the best so that I'm not in that bottom sort of scary region of going home. I'm finding it tough. Yeah, I'm really, I'm, I'm enjoying it, but I'm finding it tough. Top Michelin-starred chef John Burton Race is competing against Angela to transform the UK's worst cooks. And John has his own opinions about Angela's teaching methods. He thinks they may have to change. Angela's always given me a lot of lip about how I do things. You know, I'd like to see how she's going to do. She took the mickey out of me all last week. She said I was too hard, she said I was too tough. Look at her big rosy cheeks. She's out of breath. A little furrowed brow. She's tensing up really nicely and it's only the first few hours. You wait.